Today we are going to be graphing radical equations. You'll notice that this first one is a square root. Now, I want to make sure that you're aware that square roots are what I will call a wave, because your pencil goes and it's like you wave to the right. So your square root graphs will look like this. It'll have a starting point and then it waves. Either it waves up or you'll start and you can wave down. You can also wave backwards um, but I want to show you how to do these, and they're not difficult at all. So if I look at my equation, do I have anything added underneath the radical? No, I don't. Do I have anything added on the outside? I do not. So my starting point is going to be 0, 0. Put my dot right there at the origin, because that's where my graph is going to start, and that's how it's going to wave. <clears throat> Excuse me, our step function, again, is 1, 3, 5. We did that with our um, uh, quadratics. Well, and this is an inverse. So instead of going up 1 and over 1 and up 3, we will be going to the right. So we go up 1 and over 1, up 1 and over 3, up 1 and over 5, which would be out here. But that creates my way. And that's how my graph will go. Again, my step function. I'm going to go up 1 and over 1, up 1 and over 3, up 1 and over 5, because there's a 1 in front of my equation. And that's really all I have to do. Now, it also tells you to identify your domain and range. My domain are my x values. You'll notice that this starts here at 0 and goes to the right. So my domain is x is greater than or equal to 0. My range, you notice I start here at 0 and I am going up. So my range is y is greater than or equal to 0. 0, 0, which is where my starting point is for my graph. 0, 0. It's also the starting points for my domain and range. Again, I'll start at 0, 0. Put my dot right here at the center. I'm going up 1 and over 1, up 1 over 3, up 1 over 5. Now if I plug in these values, you'll see that they work. If I do that, my x and y values, if I'm plugging in 1, well the square root of 1 is 1. If I plug in 4, the square root of 4 is 2. If I plug in 9, this is where I'm at. So the square root of 9 is 3. You can use a table of values and plug it in. Or we can use our step function to sketch it. Let's look at number 2. This one is a little different. It's got all the different variations. What do I have added to my equation underneath the radical? I have a 3. Now, since it's inside, we always use the opposite, so that's going to be a negative 3. And what's added on the outside is negative 2. So we have opposite keep, opposite keep. So I'm going to start with negative 3, negative 2. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm going to go over 1. But because of my 2 right here, I'm going to go up 2. I'm going to go over 3, but up 2. Over 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and up 2. Start here, and wave. Because of the 2 on the front, that tells me that I'm going to go up 2 each time. But I still use my step function of 1, 3, and 5. My domain. I started here at negative 3 and went to the right, so x is greater than or equal to negative 3. My range starts here at negative 2 on the y value and goes up, so y is greater than or equal to negative 2. Sorry. Negative 3. Again, how did I find this starting point? 
opposite, keep. So it tells me my starting point is at negative 3, negative 2. This is a square root, so it's my wave. Now, you can also graph these in your calculator. Okay, you can also graph in your calculator and go to y equals and type it in. And you can look at your table of values, but of course I am going to show you doing them by hand. Okay, so let's look at another one. This one has a negative on the front. Well, I'm not going to worry about that negative quite yet. I'm still going to look for where my starting point is. I notice it's a square root, so it's going to be my wave. I'm going to start with opposite, keep. Well, the opposite of what's on the inside is positive 1. What I keep on the outside is 0. So 1, 0 is where my graph will start. Well, now that's a negative 1 on front, so I'm going to go down 1 and over 1, down 1 and over 3, down 1 and over 5. And I create my, whoops, I missed, sorry. I create my wave. Square roots I call a wave because that's what they're going to do. Again, you can plug in a table of values. I know my step is 1, 3, 5 and that's going um, to the right. This on the top tells me I'm going to go down one and over one. Down one and over three. Down one and over five. This negative tells me to come down. So there are my steps as I go across. One, three, five. And I have my graph. Well, now I also now still need to look at my domain and range. My domain are my x values, and I am starting here at 1. I'm starting at 1, so x is greater than or equal to 1 because I am going to the right. Now my range, my y values, starts here at 0. That's where my y is for my 0. But now, do these go up? Or do they come down? They come down, so it's going to be less than or equal to 0. Less than or equal to 0 because this graph comes down. It turns down. And the reason I knew it turned down is because of the negative in front of my equation. That tells me that my graph turns down. Let's look at number 4. Number 4 opposite, opposite of what's on the inside. Well, there's nothing added on the inside, so that's zero, and the opposite of zero is still zero. And then I keep whatever's added on the outside, so that's five. Zero, five. There's my starting point for my wave. Well, this is a positive one on the front, so I am going to go up, and I remember my step is one, three, five, so I'm going to go up one and over one. Up 1 and over 3. Up 1 and over 5. And it makes my wave. Now remember, this 0, 5 is what I'm going to use for my domain and range. So my domain, or x is, now they go to the right, so they are greater than or equal to 0. My range, again, are my y values. They start at 5 and they go up. So greater than or equal to 5. Again, the 0, 5 is where my starting point is for my wave. You can go back and look at each problem in the domain and range. I always use the starting point for my wave. This is problems 1, 2, 3, and 4 on your notes. Number 5. Number 5. Sorry, let me get it into range. There we go. Number five is very, very similar. My starting point, opposite. So the opposite of that is going to be positive four. 
and then I keep whatever's added on the outside. Well, there's nothing added, so that's a zero. So four zero is where I'm going to start. Now my step is one, three, and five, and that's going toward the right. This tells me how much to go up or down. So I'm going to go up four, one, two, three, four, and over one because of my one here. Then I'm going to go up four again, one, two, three, four, and I'm going to go over three. Now this wave is a really high wave. It's kind of an excited little kid. It's jumping up really high. Again, I need to make sure I use my domain and range. My domain is x is greater than or equal to, because it does go to the right, but it starts at 4. This is my x. This is my y. That's my domain. Oops, sorry. That's my domain and range. Now my range are my y values. Well, I'm starting at 0 and I'm going up. So greater than or equal to 0. Now these are square roots. I call square roots waves. That's what we have here is a wave for our square root.